OMG, I cringed so hard when he said he was a makeup artist. <laughs> Seriously? No, you're not, LOL. Did you train? Did you study or go to beauty school? No. So then you're not classified as a makeup artist. If you haven't got the certificate and paper to show it, then it doesn't count you as a makeup artist. I would know because I, Rashawn, am a qualified makeup artist. <sighs> He's right. Really, Rashawn? Because my 5.3 million followers and this piece of paper beg to differ. <laughs> Hi, sisters. James Charles here, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. As I'm sure you guys are very much aware, comments are a huge part of the YouTube community. I receive thousands and thousands and thousands of comments on every single video, mostly from you guys who are always spreading so much love and positivity and really make me do what I want to do. So thank you for always being the absolute best. But alongside the love also comes a whole lot of hate comments. When I was younger, probably the most valuable thing that my mother ever taught me was, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. For me personally, I don't think I have ever once left a hate comment on anybody else's content that they work really, really hard on. But apparently that lesson was not taught to the thousands and thousands and thousands of people who feel that they are just superior beings and that they're unnecessary and rude comments just need to be heard. Now, don't get me wrong. There's definitely a huge difference between constructive criticism and hate comments. For me personally, I love constructive criticism. I do this job every single day for you guys and to inspire you guys all around the world. And if there's any way that I can make my videos better, my makeup better, my personality better, my lighting better, I absolutely want to do it. And there's a very, very nice way to leave positive suggestions but for the most part people don't know how to do that because everyone's ego is just too large including mine <laughs> this idea came about a few days ago when i was reading comments on my newest video and somebody preceded their hate comment by literally saying sister james i love you so much but i just feel like this needed to be said and then wrote something very very nasty to creating myself my hard work and my career needed oh Julia, sweetie, circums, darling, pumpkin. You needed to write that comment? Actually, um, no. Nobody asked for your opinion. You didn't need to do anything. According to this very official piece of paper right here, I am clearly a certified MUA. But according to the YouTube comments, apparently so is every other person that watches my video. So for today, I thought it'd be very, very fun to do a video inspired by Yuki, where I take a bunch of comments from people that just thought their opinions had to be heard and apply those to my makeup routine because apparently I can't do makeup. I am just so excited to listen to all these extremely talented and trained makeup artists tell me exactly what I should be doing for my makeup routine. Hopefully I'll look so much better than normal and let's just jump right in. <laughs> Our first step, as always, is gonna be our foundation and our base routine. And I definitely get a lot of comments about my foundation in every single video. I can definitely admit I'm not the best at foundation matching, so I figured I would take some advice from the comments today. This comment comes from Haley, and she says, James, I love you, but your foundation is 10 shades too dark. You look burnt. Mm. I'm just gonna grab a little bit of a lighter shade today and apply this all over my face. Oh, yeah, this is a way better match for me, I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, after all the sister scandals that I've had, the last thing that I want to add to that list is culture appropriation. So thank God we're getting this advice now. Another one we have for today is from Maria. And she says, is it just me or does anybody else think that this foundation shade is just way too orange? Oompa Loompas are shaking. Oh yeah, looking back, I think Maria is definitely right when it comes to this. I mean, it's not like I say in every single video that I always like to be a little bit more tan. So thank God she pointed this out today. Let me see what I can look for. Um, if I'm not going for more of an orange foundation, I think I need to find something with more of a pink undertone. So let me see what I can find. You guys, oh my god. After three years of doing beauty videos, I think we've finally, officially found the foundation shade that matches me perfectly. It's a miracle. This next comment comes from Shelby, and she says, James, you're a doll, but sweetie, and I'm not saying this to be cruel or critical, just the experience of a viewer, of course. It would be much more enjoyable watching if you slow down, way down. You're talking and moving so fast, your energy is so frantic that for low-key people like me, it makes watching you very, very stressful. Your kinetic energy is clearly very high, and I'm sure that you have to exert a lot of effort and energy to slow it down and entertain it, but I assure you it'd make your video so much more enjoyable. Between hyperspeed talking and your fast hand movements featured in camera, it's just a bit much, hun. Again, I'm not saying this to be mean, cruel, or critical simply to share my experience in watching your videos and give you a little bit of input much love to you sister shelby oh see this is a really great example of constructive criticism and i definitely get comments about the speed of my talking a lot so let me see what i can do to really help you guys out because i've never wanted to make my videos hard to watch all right guys so my next step in my beauty routine is going to be the concealer and for today i want to use my tart shape tape and the shade fair I'm just gonna take the wand and apply it to all of the high points of my face. I am just drawing a triangle right underneath 
my eyes and kind of filling in a little bit just to bring some more attention to that area. I'm just putting some in the center of my forehead and gonna put a line right down my nose. And then maybe just a little bit on my chin to cover the five o'clock shadow. And then of course, just gonna take my damp beauty blender and blend it out. This next one comes from Rebecca and she says, holy sh why are you using so much powder? I cannot even imagine how cakey and horrible and gross you look in person. Oh, Rebecca, I see myself in the mirror all the time and I think I look pretty good, but I guess it means a lot more coming from you guys who really see me all the time. So maybe I'll just try to use a little bit less today. Mmm. You know what? I think that's a lot better. Rebecca, I think you'll like this one, girl. These next comments are some of my favorites and they're talking about bronzing and contouring. This first one comes from Courtney and she says, your contour looks way too harsh. Holy crap, why does your forehead look like it got burnt? This one comes from Jonathan and he says, sweetie, your nose contour isn't fooling anybody. Yes, I love it when you guys leave me nasty comments about the two things that I talk openly about being insecure about and try to fix with contouring. Really means a lot and does a lot for my self-esteem. This last one comes from Brianna and she said, you're literally red. Okay, who? I mean, I thought my contour looked pretty good, but clearly we have a lot to fix today according to these professional MUAs. So it looks like we need to make my contour a little bit more cool toned, I'm a little bit less harsh, and I need to stop contouring my nose so tiny. So let's see what we can do. <sighs> Oh my god, yes, slay. Uh, I'm contouring with the ashes of what's left of my self-esteem after this video, and I think it looks so good. For the forehead, I definitely don't want to look burnt, so I guess we're just going to use, like, the littlest bit. Perfect. Not going to lie, I am a little bit scared and nervous to change up my nose contour, but I think Jonathan definitely knows what he's talking about, so I'm just going to give myself a more natural look today. Oh my God, wait, I actually love it. Jonathan, thank you so much. Holy crap, I thought my nose was snatched before, but wow, like this natural, bigger the better look, I think it's just the way to go from now on. This next comment comes from Orion's Art, and they said, your contour blush is horrible. You put way too much blush on, so it looks like you have a red streak on your face, and then your contour is just a dark brown line on your face. It's barely even blended, so you shouldn't even be a makeup artist because your face makeup is horrible. The only good thing about it is your highlight. Thank you. At least I'm doing one thing right. Oh yes. The haters are all being blinded right now. Wow, we love a snatch sister. All right guys, so next we have the brow system I'm actually really, really excited for. If you've been following me for a very long time on Instagram, you know that my brows have underwent such a major transformation and it's honestly a lot because of you guys and a lot of the hate comments I received. At first, I just really could not take the constructive criticism. I thought my brows were so, so, so beautiful, but finally I realized that they were literally just the worst. This first one comes from Balin Cabello and she says, bro, if you don't fix your brows. Your eye look is so warm and your brow color is ashy. They're gray. Okay. This one comes from Emily and she says, anybody else think that he should really maybe trim his eyebrow hair and make them a little bit thinner? They are so super boxy. Nothing against him. He's so great, but I think he would really look much better. Smiley face. This one comes from Melancholic Mexican. There's a scandal. These eyebrows are way too thick. They're supposed to be thin like skinny legend Mariah Carey. True. And finally, we have this one from I Hate Alua, and she says, Boy, I think those eyebrows need to be closer together. Okay. So I definitely don't want my brows to look ashy today. That is a major, major no-no. So instead of my regular brow pencil, I grabbed the MAC lip pencil in the shade Burgundy. This one's just a little bit more red tone, so hopefully it'll match with the eye look that I do later on. And then according to everyone else, they need to be a little bit more arched, a little bit skinnier, and closer together. You know, we're really going for that look of like raising your eyebrows at all times to show everybody that I'm very, very interested in what they're having to say. There we go, super arched, definitely a little bit thinner than normal, and then bringing it right back down. Oh my God, yes. That looks so much better than normal. According to I Hate Alua, they really should be almost touching because unibrows are very much back in style and trend. So really gonna do that there. And then of course we have to make them eyebrow twins. They can't be sisters. So have to make them exactly even. Wow, I think that's the best I've ever looked. Okay, so pretty good, but I feel like we definitely need a little bit of concealer just to clean them up a little bit. Really just gotta sister snatch them right up. Oh yes, girl, yes. 
That is exactly what we're going for today. That is so good. Wow, this eyebrow is just a skinny legend. Oh my God, Mariah who? This is how close I am to losing my mind. Wow, I think this is finally it. Since starting my Instagram account three years ago, I've just gotten so many comments about my eyebrows being too thick or not arched enough or just too big. And I've had so many brands not repost me because of it. And maybe finally I'll have a chance in the beauty world now. Thank you to everybody who suggested this today because I love this. So now that our brows are hashtag on fleek, I feel like we are in a really good place to start off the eyeshadow. So this comment comes from Shannon and she says, you always do a half cut crease, holy shit. Is there anything else you can do or are you really just not talented at all? No. Okay, so I really want to add a wing to this look. I feel like it'll just pull everything super, super together. And thank God we have comments from you guys telling me how to do it so I don't do it wrong. And this one comes from Divine Von Dagger. And this is on my drag video. And she says, Sister James, your eyeliner needs to be thicker. Okay, no problem. I can definitely make it thicker. Thank you. And this one comes from Andrew. And he says, Girl. Why was your wing so short? You really should have made it sharp enough to cut a. Right. So definitely need to listen to Andrew. We need to make our line really, really long. And then according to Divine, we need to make it really thick. So let's bring this just up and just really, you know, we love a thick sister. You know, who cares about the hours of time we spend on blending our eyeshadow? Like wing liner is really where it's at. It just really opens up the eye, just frames the face so well. I definitely would say wing liner, make it nice and thick every day. Wow, I think they were so right. My wings are big enough and sharp enough to almost fly away. I love that. All right, so the eye look is almost complete and I'm literally loving it so far. And our next step is going to be lashes. And I'm actually really, really excited for this one because similar to brows, I've always struggled just a little bit with lashes. When I first started doing makeup, I would always glue my eye shut. And even still to this day, I have very, very sensitive eyes. So sometimes my lashes will come off or they won't sit right and they're just a little bit wonky. So I'm really looking forward to reading your guys' advice today and hopefully being able to fix them. This comment comes from Samuel and he says, no sister, the lashes you chose for this look were all wrong. They close off your eyes, making them appear smaller. You should use a way bigger lash that flares outwards and really lifts the eye up rather than squashing it down. Okay, so Samuel thinks we need to use a big lash today, which I'm totally down for. I mean, I love my mammies, but sometimes you just gotta be a little bit extra, you know? So I grabbed the 301s. I think they're really gonna do the job. Okay, so I just put on some glue and now Sam said when we put them on, we need to make sure that the lashes really go upwards so they don't close down the eye. So I'm gonna put this right here in the inner corner. Perfect. And then I'm just gonna pull this tail end right up here. Oh yes, they definitely, um, really lifted everything straight up. Wow. Okay, so those are looking great, but I feel like they could be a little bit more lifted. So you know what? Really get them up there. Lift them up, gals. Hmm. This looks amazing. All right, guys, so this look is almost complete and our next step is going to be the lippity doodahs. You know, starting from day one, I've learned so many techniques about overlining and making them look beautiful. Of course, I've gotten lip filler, but you know what? There's always ways that I can really improve my technique. So this comment comes from Jessica and she says, sister, love you, but you're overlining your lips way too much. They look like they're about to explode. You know what? Fair, noted. Sometimes I definitely can admit that I go a little bit overboard. So let's just bring them back to their normal size. Wow. Oh my God, Jessica. Girl, you are literally so bright. I'm actually going to call my doctor right now and ask her to dissolve the lip filler because this just looks the best. Hashtag natural beauty is the best beauty. This next one I actually get all the time. It is always a top comment on my video. And you know what? I hear you guys. Takaya says, sis, then lips dry though. Hannah says, how are you going to be a guru and have your lips looking dry as hell? Sunshine says, I feel like his lips are always so dry. And Indy said, wow, James's lips are about as dry as his sex life. You got me there. You know what? You guys are totally right. Nobody likes a crusty lip. It is definitely so, so, so gross and not the way to go. Let's fix it. Eventually. Wow. Oh my God, so much better. All right, you guys, oh my God, I think we're actually done with this look today. And looking in the mirror, this is by far the best I've ever looked. Oh my God. I am so glad that I set my ego aside and just really listened to everybody who knew exactly what they were talking about because clearly this is the result. And our last but final step is going to be set everything in place. So we can really just keep this on all day long. And thank God we have one last comment to really guide us through the setting spray. And that is from Tajaya. And she says, that wasn't a spritz. It was a full on shower. You need to use way less setting spray. Oh, okay. Maybe, maybe if I use less, it'll really lock it in all day long. Let's try. 
that's it. We're done. <laughs> all right, you guys. That is all I have for this video today. This has been so much fun to film. This look, I mean, can we talk about it? Literally iconic. One million likes on Instagram. Here we come. On a more serious note, obviously this video was satire and I was just joking around in a playful and lighthearted manner. But if I said that hate comments never affected me, I would 100% be lying because if I'm being honest, they do. Obviously, I try my absolute best to put on a good front for you guys and always inspire people and preach positivity. But I'm a normal human being just like you are. I have feelings and sometimes comments really do hurt. Before you write something, please think, is this necessary? to say is this helpful is this constructive because like my mama said if you don't have anything nice to say don't say anything at all on the contrary at the end of the day nobody's perfect especially not me i'm always looking for ways to become a better person and a better content creator so if you have something you want to say leave a comment down below there's so many ways as followers that you guys can give us content creators incredibly helpful advice feedback or constructive criticism that we can use to help our channel be better and i love reading what you guys have to say without you guys i would not be where i am today so i'm so so thankful for you guys just please try to be nice while doing it it's really not that hard and I promise you if you're nice about it there's a way better chance that somebody's actually gonna listen this happened from unnecessary comments of people being mean this is why we don't listen <laughs> all right you guys that is all I have for this video today I really hope you enjoyed it I had so much fun doing this if you did don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below and show your love it really means a lot and you know what since this video is just a whole lot of negativity why don't we share the love down below in the comment section let's start a fun little sister trend go leave the person that commented above you a compliment why not let's make people's day let's spread the positivity and happiness we love smiling sister <laughs> if you have not already literally what are you doing with your life please click the big red subscribe button down below and come join the sisterhood it is a pretty lit time and don't forget to click that bell icon so you can notified every time i upload a brand new video if you'd like to follow me on a makeup journey you can follow me on instagram and twitter they both just james charles and my snapchat for more behind the scenes i stuff is james charles an extra s after charles this video is sister shout out goes to sister lexi thank you so much love for always following and supporting you know i love you so 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 much and if you would like to be in the next video's sister shout out don't forget to always retweet your video links when they go live on twitter all right sisters and haters thank you guys so much for watching I love you so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.